Pew 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 Hello and welcome to Small Screen. If you could like and subscribe, that would be absolutely brilliant. We're working hard to reach a milestone here on YouTube and you can make a difference. And stick around towards the end as our source drops something quite interesting regarding Marvel and Disney+. Plus. Right, on to the news. There's been quite a reaction to the recent news that Brad Winterbaum has been promoted over at Marvel Studios. He is now the head of streaming, television and animation at Marvel Studios. Okay, so is this all bad news for Kevin Feige? Is he on his way out of Marvel? Marvel? Well, the answer is a pretty simple one. No, he's not. We actually reached out to a contact who's got very close ties to Disney. Again, highlight that very James. Here's what our source had to say about Winterbaum's promotion and what it means for Mr. Feige. As far as Feige's concerned, I think this is nothing but good news for him and Marvel fans. This will be good for him because it means he's now got a proper left-hand man and Feige can focus on the main MCU stuff, the movies basically. And I think this might also have something to do with his Star Wars film. He's been stretched really thin and needs the help. Winterbaum has been working inside Marvel for years now, he is a really good producer and has some great ideas, what if was his baby and look how great that turned out. So what was interesting here is that our source thinks that this is actually Feige trying to get some solid help around him. He can't keep this up and he has a lot of stuff on his plate. <coughs> Star Wars. <coughs> So having someone he trusts take control of the TV and streaming side of things isn't a bad idea. It frees Feige up to focus on things such as the MCU movies. Okay, but that wasn't all our source had to say about this. The source dropped quite a little bombshell about Disney Plus and Marvel. So here's the rest. The Brad thing I thought was announced ages ago. I must have been wrong. Anyway, it's going to be interesting for Marvel moving forward. Brad is now in charge of all things streaming related in the MCU, TV shows, both animated and live action. I've actually been hearing they might be planning on making some feature-length Marvel projects for Disney+, Plus, both live-action and animated. So that's the quote. It seems as though Marvel has been discussing and doing the groundwork to release both live-action and animated feature films on Disney+. Plus. This could really be great for fans as we will get to see the best of both worlds, theatre premieres and live-action films set in the MCU exclusively on Disney+. Plus. This brings a whole new set of questions. Will we get to see these MCU miniseries if they decide to exclusively produce feature films for Disney+. Plus? Will they charge a premium fee like they did with Black Widow, most likely. Will this be part of Phase 4 or Phase 5? We'll keep you updated on this development as we hear more, so make sure to like and subscribe to appease the YouTube algorithm gods. Right, in conclusion, this is a good thing and we should be excited to see what's to come from Marvel Studios, both on the movie side of things and the streaming side. So what do you make of this news? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, we do read all of them. And also, don't forget to follow us on social media at Small Screen Co. And why not share this video? I mean, it doesn't take too long and we would be eternally grateful. Okay, that's enough from me. That's all you're getting, James. I'm sorry, I've got to get out of this car. It's so hot, I'm probably going to die.